Hi, and welcome to The Witch's Closet, where we uncover secrets of history's greatest witches. Today we're here with Tituba. You may have seen her in the novel, playwright, or the movie, The Crucible. Here she is. Tituba, why don't you tell us about yourself? Uh, I'm Tituba. I was born in South America, though it is a common misconception that I was African. As a child, I was taken to Barbados and sold as a slave to Samuel Perez, who was from New England. In 1680, Mr. Perez took me, John Indian, his other slave, and orphan niece, Miss Abigail, and together we moved to Boston. Wow, that's a big move. Boston hadn't been established long. What was your take on this move? It was dearie. It was the beginning of a whole new life. John and I married in 1689. Love of my life. Never forget them. Well, this John, the very, the very year Paris moved his new family in laws to Salem Village and began their pastor. Miss Elizabeth, Paris's wife, took sick many times, so I tend the children like my own. In the evenings, I would tell my stories to Betty, his young daughter, and Miss Abigail by kitchen fire. They loved the stories I brought from Barbados and were particularly interested in the spirit world and fortune telling. Mm. Such activities, however, were strictly forbidden by the Puritan code. That's some mischief. What all did y'all do? Well, we would do fortune telling exercises such as, um, well, let's see, I have an egg here. We would, we would do it by cracking an egg into the water. So you take the yolk and you separate the white and the yolk from one another, like this. Oop, a little bit okay, not still one. We'll put that back in there. So you separate the yolk and the white, just like that. At any rate, whatever picture the egg white would form would be their fortune, like this. Ooh, uh-oh. Anyway, then word secretly spread, and soon their friends began joining us. We called ourselves Circle Girls, because you see, we made a, a circle, not a square. That's why we said Circle Girls. Soon my Betty, Miss Abigail, and little Ed Putnam began crazy talking. They're babbling, twitching, and convulsing. Was bewilderment of everyone in the little gossiping town. Oh my, what caused this? Well, I think they just got bored. The book says Abigail loved Mr. Proctor, but he was 60 years old, and it was kind of fat. So don't believe that was the case. Um, others think rye bread, ergo, and some believe they became possessed. Either way, they got the whole town stirred up and caused more of a ruckus, and they expected uh, or were prepared to deal with. Soon, they were diagnosed as being under the spell of witchcraft. Ooh. And the town was soon screaming, fool! expected and blamed the foreigners such as myself. So I did what any could. I baked a rye bread with Miss Betty's urine in it. What? Time out. You, you did what? Well, this was to be fed to the dog. It was believed the dog was the witch's helper and by heating the cake, this spell would be broken and the witch's identities of the witches would be revealed. The girls pointed to me when pressed to identity that identify the oppressors. The black one, of course. They pointed to and then uh, Sarah Good, Sarah Osborne as well, the other outcast of our society. But I love me, Betty. I denied and denied I say no! I don't make no compact with the devil. I love me, children. Mr. Paris then beat me. Oh and say that I must confess to the magistrates. He said, I'll be free if I told them. So, for three days they asked me lots of questions. Finally, I give in and they throw me into prison. He lied. He did not liberate me. And the next year, I was sold away from Salem. No one knows where I went. 
But some people believe John and I had a daughter named Violet to live with me or Mr. Paris until his death in 1720. Wow, that is some story. Well, thank you, and there you have it, folks. Uh, Tichiba, we'd love to hear from you again sometime. I'd love to be back with you again sometime soon. So, uh, can you give me that recipe for the urine cake? Oh, yeah, you just take urine and you put it in the bowl. <laughs>